hope you all are safe. So I printed these 3D masks um, based on the design uh, published by the USC uh, University of Southern California. And uh, uh, this is what it looks like. So this is the mask. which holds the filter it goes inside here and that's the cover which holds the filter out here so uh, this is the design uh, which uh, we are printing here in Sacramento and uh, we are giving to the healthcare uh, people who are in need of a mask um, USC has a really good step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these masks and uh, uh, we have like uh, a 3D printer working on this design so uh, I'll be using this uh, foam window seal material in order to seal uh, the edges of this mask And uh, we got this uh, 1900 uh, filtrate material and uh, it says it can filter out about like 0.3 microns to 1 micron size particles. So this should be uh, good enough to filter out most of the filtrates. So the length of the filter material should be slightly uh, more than the length of this. So uh, as you can see it is like one uh, slightly more than one and a half inch. Well I should say slightly less than two inches on both ends. So uh, I would just uh, cut a piece of square out of this material. using a second piece here so uh, how these how some of these filters work is uh, uh, that they produce electrostatic charge in order to attract small particles so I'm just putting another piece here hoping that uh, this would provide more uh, more filtration all right and you can use like uh, some strings or elastics for this piece <laughs> 